Welcome to the Game again. of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today we're doing another 1v1 uh, Risk Tips video with uh, myself and Poorly Played Risk. We're going to show you how to play on the Roman Empire map. Poorly Played Risk, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi everyone. This is Mallory from Poorly Played Risk, and I'm going first and I'm scared. Oh no, you're very, very favored. But we're going to play on the Roman okay. Empire today. Very Empire-themed uh, map for sure. World Domination, Progressive, Balance Blist, Fog on, Blizzards on, Portals off. And you can see Plural Vincia 7's a plus 2, Plural Vincia 1's a plus 6, Plural Vincia 5's a plus 2, Pl Plural Vincia 6's a plus 5, Plural Vincia 2's a plus 3, Plural Vincia 3's a plus... Four and Plurovincia four is a plus five, and these are the most boring names possible. <laughs> Could they did not get creative with these? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Roman Empire just took over territories. They didn't really care what they were named. They really wanted to use those Roman numerals. Hey -o. Oh gosh. Okay. In any case, <laughs> as as we can we can see, um, you want to. As player one you want, and player two, you want to take the most isolated territories on the board because you want to group the other player together so that way you are able to hit their stack and get, get a considerable advantage for yourself. Now, probably played risk, you already made a mistake on the first turn. I knew it. So what you need to do is you need to select a forcing pick, which is what is the mm. smallest continent on this board? Yeah, I almost picked that five... In the top yeah. left. I, I almost did. Yeah, you want to take that one first. And this is because it's the most isolated territory and forces me to pick the other one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, the next thing to notice about this map right here is that these blizzards are very commonly extremely impactful to the game. What which is, What is the most impactful? Out of these three blizzards, which one's the most impactful? This one at the bottom. I love how you just say, like, this one. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll highlight it for you. But, yeah. And the, the reason why is that now this entire continent, the Provincia 4, is now a, pl is a plus 5 one border. Our entire focus this game is going to be on you trying to take this continent and me trying to prevent you getting it. So the best w the way I can do that is by taking this territory here. Yep, and you're taking a very uh, isolated territory yourself, like a down in that location. I'm just going to continue to try to take uh, some isolated territories uh, for myself. This territory in the, in the top left is very, very, I think, underrated because it's so isolated and it can very easily be used a lot uh, in the future. Another thing about this map is that there are a lot of patterns. So when, when someone takes this territory, this five right here, the common way to react to that is to take this territory below it. The territory mm. that poorly played Risk took next to the blizzard on the right-hand side, I normally take the other blizzard location, but since that one's a blizzard, I did not take anything there. I'm guessing yep. this is also the same? You, yep, another someone pattern. Take that one, this map is key on patterns one. right here. So when someone takes mm. one of the island territories, another person should be taking an island territories. You can see I'm lever lever leveraging this disconnection map in the upper right-hand corner, where the colors represent how many direct territories something is connected to, and the number represents the adjacent territory something's connected to. So the lower the number, the, the brighter the color, the better it is for you to select. So as an example, poorly played risk, um, I would have selected where I took in this continent rather than that top area because uh, this number, this, this is a little bit less uh, connected. Mm. But this is very, very subtle. E everything is going to be decided um, probably in the Provincia 4 area. So I'm just going to be continuing taking isolated territories, focusing on the bottom part, and taking leveraging the blizzards right here when I can. The only continent we have not taken yet is the Plurovincia 2, and this is the best territory within Plurovincia 2. Yep, so you got that territory. I'll take the other best one within here. So I got two out of the three. So Roman Empire. Action all the way towards the end. I actually can't remember. Poorly played risk. I think there's 40 territories on this map with blizzards. 
Yep, so we have another pattern spot right here. Because poorly played risk took that specific territory, I'm going to respond with this one. Normally as well, the bottom territory that poorly played risk took, this territory uh, right here. I would normally respond with the other one, but I want her to take both because this is going to make this an isolated spot, which could be very, very good for me. So another, another territory I'm going to take right here is this one because I want to make it as hard as possible for you to potentially take the Provincia 4 continent. But why? I really want it. Oh, geez, I wonder why. If I just ask really nicely, will you give it to me? Nope. <laughs> Even if I say please. Sorry. Sorry, I can't do anything there. Yep, so I'm just continuing to take um, areas. I'm not focusing more on the, um, the right-hand side. And this is because um, I know it's unlikely that you're going to be trying to take over the Provincia 1 region for yourself. Yeah, I'm going to take this one, following on my intuition. Now, as we can see right here, there's going to be a total of 40 territories. So I'm going to pick a total of 20, and Poorly Played Risk is going to pick a total of 20. And that is going to benefit her a lot as player one. She forces me to get like the last worst pick. So she has a lot of uh, potential here to be doing damage. And I like what he did right there, Poorly Played Risk. He basically forced me to take like an isolated territory like to connect you. So now, uh, essentially, if I don't place there, you can essentially like uh, take there. So I was trying to force myself to keep myself open in the upper right-hand side uh, for myself. So what I'm going to do is this, I believe, and I'm going to hope that this... Yeah, now you're just going to blitz me and take this. Uh, good job right here. Th this map is very, very strong in the sense that like, if there's like a one border area, it's very hard for me to be like uh, able to stop it. And yeah, you just went plus seven right there. You're going to clean up very, very quickly for yourself. Oh, mm, well, it doesn't matter, I, I don't think. But you, you, you didn't have to attack that one area because you did open up me to be able to attack you. Oh, shoot. You should still be fine, though. Oh, I forgot about your 11. Oh, okay. I forgot about your 11. Yeah, that's why I grouped into two stacks right there. Because I didn't want to leave yeah, down that like was, one that was my bad. Like, uh, balance blitz. You're right. I shouldn't have popped out. Yeah. So I'm still very behind. I have a chance to come back, but I have to get lucky for myself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get to your territory right here. And then since I'm behind on troops, I'm going to slow roll and have to hope I get lucky. Ooh. I have to get lucky one more time. So we're even. Plus two. Ooh. I have to go plus two here. I have a chance. Okay, I am going to blitz this here. Ooh. You should still take this, though. Dang it. Yeah, so right now you're at a total of 20, and I am at a, a total of uh, 20. So we're both even on territory right now. However, you still have a significant edge over me in the sense that you're going to be getting six, and I should only be getting around like a four to five. So you should take this. You getting, you going like a plus seven, um, hitting my uh, 11 was just like a uh, game ending. The rule I like to follow is a rule of like uh, attacking basically the three plus two rule, where if you're at a multiple of three plus one, you want to attack one more. So since you're at 25, I would recommend you to try to get me down one more. So will be down to 14 territories. And then you're going to most likely take the game. Yep, and I would solo roll that one because it's huge if I lose that. You tricked me. No, it was the right move to make right there. You're going to take this game. If you, if I win this, this will be one of the greatest comebacks ever. I shouldn't have popped out. That was my bad. No, I, I had to basically lose every, win every single one right there. Mm. But unfortunately, I got some uh, bad dice. So you will take this and wrap this up right here. Good job, Polly. You played yes. risk. Thanks. Oh, I'm so happy. Yep. 
So we'll just speed through and have you take over the remaining territories and cut away towards the end. All right, so we just cut ahead to poorly played Risk, wrapping it up right here and utterly destroying me like a champion that she is. But with that, I hope you guys all enjoy this tutorial okay. like uh, right here on the Roman Empire map uh, for yourself. Let me know in the comments below like uh, what do you think if you have any other questions. But with that, this is Olive XC and Poorly Played Risk signing off.